All right, we're gonna run over to a friend's house, replace a mirror on a 2022 Subaru uh, Outback. The, uh, a lot of years are similar with the newer body style. Having to remove the door panel to access the bolts and the wiring. The wiring for the mirror hides up underneath the door panel also. Uh, so what we'll need, Number two, Phillips head screwdriver. A pick is helpful. Getting some of the wire connectors loose and popping off some of the trim caps to access the screws for the door panel. Small flat blade just to use as a pry tool uh, if, if I can get it in there versus using the pick. A set of trim tools, plastic pry bars. Uh, Harbor Freight sells these cheap. If, if you don't have a set, go pick a set up. They're gonna, anytime you pull a door panel or, or trim, they're gonna save you from scratching stuff. Also, Harbor Freight has these. These are a, these are a plier style that you can go up underneath the door panel and pop loose. They come in handy, especially when you, when the Christmas trees get stuck in the hole and don't come out with the panel, these can help you pull it versus trying to get a set of dikes in there and, and damaging the Christmas tree. I'm gonna use, uh, to take it apart, just to speed things up, I'm gonna use my, my screwdriver uh, attachment. And then the bolts on the mirror are 10 millimeter. They're, they're accessed inside the door panel. So you'll need an extension 10 millimeter and whatever, whatever ratchet or drive of your choice. The, uh, one of the hardest parts is getting those screws out without dropping them. If you drop them, they go to the bottom of the door panel. If they go to the bottom of the door panel, uh, the easiest way to get them out is, is to remove the speaker. So take your time there. All right, let's uh, run over there and get started. All right, so we're gonna pull the door panel off. We use a little flat blade to gain access to that screw. There looks like there's one here. There might be one there. It's like an empty hole. All right, and I imagine there's one back here. Yep, there's one there. that hang see one of the Christmas trees came out all right this has got to come out It's got tabs on each one of the corners or sides.
So this is the electrical going up to the mirror. We'll take it loose. There's a tab, comes right out. Snake that down in there for now. All right, so we pulled that plug to get access to two 10 millimeters here. And then through this hole, there's a 10 millimeter here. We're gonna put our hand in here, try not to drop these. One out of three. Two out of three. All right, this mirror's also held in with a clip here. So, it shouldn't fall when we take the last bolt out, but we will put a hand on it just to make sure. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. All right. All right, three out of three. Next, we'll work on this clip. This is the style you gotta pull the center out first. Here's the center. So that pin came out. the wires through and the mirrors out Thank you. all right just comparing the mirrors make sure they're the same check the wiring harness everything looks exactly the same all right let's get put in Wiring through. Make sure this tab gets seated. We'll go in with this clip first. Our three ten millimeters. We'll get them started first. Double check. Put this 
shields back. Oh, we left the wire out. Gotta have that. There's none around the speaker. Okay, there's one right here, but the Christmas tree is still inside there. So we need to get that out. That's a nice tool. Yeah. Let's hang this door panel back. Everything looks good. Hang it on top first. I'm trying to get these to start lining up. Am I calling you? Yeah. Is that a boyfriend? Maybe. Maybe. Do you need to answer that? Um, depends who it is. <laughs> it's only plastic. They don't have to be tight. All right, next we'll put in all our trim pieces. It actually didn't need to come out. All right, this one here. Now we'll go to the outside and we'll get all the mirror trim pieces on. All right, my little camera lady had to go to the bathroom. So she left me working alone. But, uh, so we've gotten the mirror installed. There's two wires for the mirror heater that were put in. That just snaps in. Just make sure you keep your hand real flat and don't push any point on the glass because you don't want to break it. All right, the sensor, the blind spot sensor, it popped in. The gray and brown wire went to it. And then we've got the uh, 
turn signal put back in and there's two screws for it one there and one there and then we'll make that connection and then we'll put the trim pieces back on all right so we tested it out first turn signal make sure the mirror worked we'll have to wait until it gets a little chilly out to test the mirror heater and then of course the blind spot will have to get on the road for it but uh then we put the trim pieces back on and that is it simple <laughs>